Hello guys, welcome back to Biotorial. This is Manchi Joshi back again with another video on the theory of evolution that was proposed by Lamarck. It is also known as Lamarckism and it was based on the principle of use and disuse of organs. So without wasting much time, let's get started. So starting with the introduction, Jean Baptiste Lamarck was a French nat naturalist okay, and he proposed the principle of use and disuse of the organs. So let us understand in detail what was this principle and what his theory says. So the principle of use and disuse of organ, Lamarck proposed that morphological changes occurring in living organisms are responsible for evolution. First of all, what are morphological changes? As we have learned in our previous lectures, morphological changes are always based on the appearance. Any changes that are seen in the appearance are known as morphological changes. And when these morphological changes, they occur in any living organism, they give rise to the evolution. Later on, he also said the second point that the reason behind those morphological changes is the activities or laziness of that organism which means that the morphological changes are always based on the activities or laziness of that organism now suppose that we consider humans we do not have tail but we do possess tail bone okay but why we don't have tail because since several generations we have stopped the usage of tail okay and that is why that organ or that particular part from our body is been degenerated after many generations Okay, so this is how he explains that morphological changes that occurs is because of the activities or the laziness of that organism. Okay, and this concept is that is why based on the use or disuse of the organs. Okay, so that simple it is, but let us understand with a proper example. Now here let us see what is the story of giraffe. Several years ago, giraffe just appeared like zebras and horses. They had short neck. And they fed on the grasses on the ground. They were herbivore at that time also. And later on, after few years, they might have been surrounded in such situation or in such an environment where there were no grasses and there were only trees present. So they had to feed on the leaves of those trees. Okay, so they tried to stretch their neck as much as possible. And this happened for many generations. And each generation got their neck a bit taller and this happened for many years and later on it gave rise to this tall neck that we see nowadays in giraffes and now they are able to eat leaves from the tall trees also so this is how the morphological changes happened in giraffe the short neck is now elongated and it is of this size now so this never happened in a single generation it took several generations to achieve this morphological changes and here we see that the based on the activity this giraffe was doing, its neck got elongated. Okay. Now let us learn another example. So this another example is of iron smith. Shoulders of the iron smith have become very strong due to frequent hammering movements. Okay. Now iron smith has a job. Okay. In that job, he has to frequently hammer. Okay. And because of that, the shoulder and arm movements take place okay so because of that we see that the shoulder of iron smith are really broad and they are really strong because of the usage of those muscles they have become that broad okay now moving on to the another example now in this example we see that mostly all the birds have wings but here this is ostrich and this bird is emu okay they do not have wings functional like other birds Okay, other birds they fly using their wings, but these two birds they cannot fly using their wings. Although their legs are really strong, they can run fast, but their wings are not as finely functional as other birds. Okay, so wings of birds like ostrich and emu have become weak due to no use. Okay, since they are not using it for flying purpose, their wings have become weak. Alright, now another example is of ducks and swans now what we see we notice 
that legs of birds like swan and duck they have become useful for swimming due to living in water okay so in this video you see that here we have duck they are swimming inside the water and most of the time they are spending inside the water itself okay so their feet are webbed and that is going to help them in swimming inside the water so because of the activity that they are performing here of swimming their feet are modified and they have web like structure now all right now this last example is of snakes we wonder that why snakes don't have limbs or why don't they have legs or hands or something like this that is because snakes have lost their legs by modifications in their body for burrowing habits okay so since they burrow they do not have any use of legs or hands or anything such they just use their body in a particular movements and they burrow themselves inside we usually find snakes inside okay so they have tendency to burrow themselves inside the uh, ground so they do not possess any legs or any kind of hands also and they are okay with it and due to the less use of hands and legs they must have uh, degenerated after several and several of generations okay now all these examples that i gave that is of iron smith it's of birds like ostrich and emu and later on we saw duck and swan we saw this last example of snake all they have a certain special character that they acquired okay so these characters are known as acquired characters now we can say that this acquired characters are passed from one generation to the another generation okay since now this acquired characters are present inside the genetic material they will be passed on from one generation to the next generation so this is how the inheritance takes place so this theory is known as inheritance of acquired characters or it is also known as lamarckism since it, since it was proposed by lamarck it is known as lamarckism okay guys so that's it for today's video so if you like this video hit the like button subscribe to our channel for more content videos and share this with your friends until then this is mansi joshi signing off